welcome back to the channel. My name is Shirley and I talk about traditional homemaking skills for the modern housewife. In today's video, I'm going to be sharing 25 different ways that you can use Dr. Bronner's Castile Soap. So what is Castile Soap? Castile soap originates from the Castile region of Spain. It's 100% natural and free of any toxins. All soaps are made from fats, but Castile soap is made from plant-based oils rather than animal fat. It doesn't contain artificial foaming agents, harsh cleaners, detergents, petrochemicals, or antibacterial agents. I love Dr. Bronner's unscented soap because it only has seven ingredients. Water, coconut oil, olive oil, hemp oil, jojoba oil, citric acid, and vitamin E. It's also organic, vegan, and fair trade, and you can get it in both liquid and solid forms. It's safe for babies and pets. Just make sure to use the unscented version because it doesn't have any essential oils, which could be harmful to your pet's and baby's delicate skin. But if you do want them scented, they make them with essential oils, and you can find them in almond, citrus, rose, eucalyptus, tea tree, lavender, and peppermint. Castile soap is completely biodegradable, it's safe for septic tanks, and it's highly concentrated. A little goes a long way, which makes it very budget friendly. And you can replace multiple different products with this one versatile soap. Okay, so let's get started with the 25 different ways that you can use Dr. Bronner's Castile Soap, but I have a bonus tip, so stay tuned till the end. Like always, I've broken them up into categories, so let's get started with personal care. Number one, shaving. I don't use any kind of dilution ratio for shaving. Rub a little bit in between wet hands to create a lather. The oils in the soap will help the razor glide across your skin and reduce razor bumps. And you can use it anywhere you want to get rid of unwanted body hair. Number two, body wash. This is probably one of the most popular uses. It's great if you have eczema or other skin conditions. Squirt a little onto a bath puff or a washcloth and wash as usual. You can use it full strength or dilute it to help stretch it even further. Number three, face wash. It cleans your skin without stripping away natural oils. Just add a drop to wet hands and wash. You could add carrier oils and essential oils that are good for your skin for added benefits. Number four, baby wash. Castile soap is very gentle and sensitive for baby's skin. Add one ounce of soap to three ounces of water. Wash your baby as usual, but make sure to keep the soap away from your baby's eyes because it is not tear free. Yeah. Number five, shampoo. Mix the soap using a one to three ratio and you've got a quick and easy shampoo. Add some coconut milk or carrier oil and you can make a creamy shampoo that will maintain a healthy scalp. Yeah. Number six, bubble bath. Make a non-irritating bubble bath with a half a cup of Castile soap, a half a cup of water, and a quarter of a cup of vegetable glycerin. You can add essential oils of your choice and you will have a super safe bubble bath for you and your kiddos. Yeah. Number seven, foaming hand wash. Use a foaming soap dispenser, fill it with water, a few squirts of Castile soap, a bit of coconut oil, some vitamin E oil, and you have a moisturizing, chemical-free soap that your kids will love. Number eight, clear sinus congestion. Fill a large bowl with hot water. Add a few squirts of peppermint soap or eucalyptus soap. Lean your head over the bowl with a towel draped over your head to keep the steam inside. Breathe in deeply and this will help loosen any congestion. Number nine, foot scrub. Just mix a half a tablespoon of peppermint castile soap, a half a cup of sugar, and one tablespoon of coconut oil or a carrier oil of your choice. Use it to scrub and soften your feet. So before we move on to the next category, let me know, have you ever heard of Castile Soap? Do you like Castile Soap? What's your favorite way to use Castile Soap? Share it with me in the comments below. Okay, moving on. Now we're gonna talk about how you can use Dr. Bronner's as a green cleaner. Number 10, reusable cleaning wipes. Use any cloth you choose, a cut up old t-shirt, or like me, an old flower sack towel. Cut it into squares. Layer your cloths and put them in a recycled disinfectant wipe container, or even a baby wipe container. Mix one cup water, two tablespoons of tea tree castile soap, and pour on top. You could also use unscented castile soap and add about eight drops of tea tree essential oil. Yeah. Number 11, soft scrub cleaner. You can make your own soft scrub using just a quarter of a cup of castile soap, three fourths of a cup of baking soda, and one tablespoon of water. You can also add 10 drops of tea tree oil to that recipe, 
or you can add a quarter of a cup of salt and two tablespoons of cream of tartare. Try all three recipes in your kitchen and bathroom. Number 12, outside window cleaner. Mix one tablespoon of soap to one quart of water. Pour the mixture into a spray bottle and spray it all over your windows. Then use a sponge to scrub away all the grime from your windows. Number 13, toilet bowl touch-ups. Easily give your toilets a quick clean in between regular bathroom cleanings. Squirt a few drops of soap into the toilet and use your toilet brush to swish it around. Flush it and done. Number 14, wash your bedding. To kill and eliminate dust mites from your bedding, wash it in hot water and add one third of a cup of soap to your washing machine drum and wash as usual. Then you can dry your bedding on its hottest dry cycle, but for HE washers, only use two to three tablespoons of soap. Number 15, makeup brush cleaner. It works great for makeup brushes. Squirt a little into a small bowl and fill the rest of the bowl with warm water. Wash your brushes in the soapy water and rinse well with cool water. And make sure to let your brushes air dry completely before you use them. Number 16, dishwashing solution. I don't use this all the time, but when I run out unexpectedly, I will definitely whip up a batch until I can get to the store. In a small mason jar, mix one cup of Castile soap, a quarter of a cup of water, and five drops of lemon essential oil. Use about a tablespoon with each load. And for an extra tip, you can use vinegar in your rinse aid for spot-free dishes. Number 17, replace dusting spray. Mix up one cup of distilled water, two teaspoons of Castile soap, and one tablespoon of extra virgin olive oil with three drops of lemon essential oil. Add it to a spray bottle and shake gently to combine. Spray it onto a microfiber cloth and use it to dust all around the house. Number 18, all-purpose cleaner. You guys know from my last video how much I love all-purpose cleaners, and this one is super easy to make, and you can use it to clean all around the house. Mix a quarter of a cup of soap and one quart of warm water. Add a few drops of tea tree oil or lemon essential oil, and then pour that solution into a spray bottle. This is perfect for little ones who love to help clean. This way they can help with a gentle, safe cleaner instead of something full of chemicals. Plus, it works extremely well. Number 19 hand washing dishes. Forget what commercials tell you, you don't need bubbles to get your dishes clean. Add a few drops of Castile soap to a sink full of water and wash away. You won't have many bubbles, but it will get your dishes nice and clean. You can also use a ratio of 10 parts warm water to one part Castile soap. You can put it in one of those handy refillable dish scrubbing brushes or add the solution to an old dish detergent bottle. Number 20, stain remover. Dr. Bronner's works great on stained clothes and linens, even red wine. Use a one-to-one -one ratio and add it to a spray bottle for easy laundry spray. Just spray it directly to your stain and wash as usual. Number 21, mopping. Another great way to use Dr. Bronner's is as a simple and effective floor cleaner. Combine a quarter of a cup of Castile soap with two gallons of hot water in a bucket or use a one to five ratio. You can use scented Castile soap or add essential oils like lemon, lavender, peppermint, eucalyptus, and you can mop almost any type of floor with this solution. Number 22, fruit and veggie wash. There's no reason to buy expensive produce wash. Just fill your sink with cold water, add a quarter of a teaspoon of Castile soap, and give your produce a good wash. Make sure to rinse well, and you can also fill your second sink or an extra wash basin with vinegar and water for an added boost of cleaning. This is a good idea if you didn't buy organic produce. My next category dives into a few different ways that you can use it around the house. Number 23, dog wash. Make sure to use the unscented version because most essential oils are harmful to dogs. Wet your dog's coat and lather up a small amount of soap and give them a good scrub. Rinse well and your doggy will have a nice shiny coat. Also, add some carrier oils to nourish your fur baby skin. Number 24, ant spray. Add a quarter of a cup of tea tree castile soap to a quart of water. Put it in a spray bottle and use it anywhere you have an ant problem. Be careful around plants because this concentration will burn them. If you don't have tea tree castile soap, add six to eight drops of tea tree essential oil to the unscented soap for the same effect. Number 25, plant spray. 
For a safe concentration for plants that will help with bugs, mix one tablespoon of unscented Castile soap to a quart of water. You can also use a half a teaspoon of cayenne pepper or cinnamon for an added boost. Put the mixture in a spray bottle and it is great for an organic pesticide for your plants. Bonus! One thing I have never tried but I heard is really awesome to clean Castile soap with is your teeth. Yep, a ton of people use it to brush their teeth. I haven't brought myself to try it yet, but let me know, have you? Did you like it? Also, one thing I wanted to mention is that Castile soap is an alkaline, and you don't want to mix it with things like vinegar or any kind of acids like lemon. Vinegar is an acid and Castile soap is a base, so essentially you'll be canceling them out if you add them together. And if you're using them for a cleaner, it can leave a film on whatever you're cleaning. However, vinegar is good alongside Castile soap. First, use the soap, and once you've washed it off, use vinegar as a rinse agent. It's really good to get rid of any trace dirt, and it leaves a nice shine. If you enjoyed this homemaking video, then make sure to hit the notification bell, because in my next video, I'm going to be organizing a Lazy Susan cabinet. It's been a while since I've done an organization video, and I'm excited to share the transformation with you. So make sure to hit the notification bell so you don't miss it. But in the meantime, check out these two videos right here. I talk a lot about homemaking, organizing, cleaning, and life in general, so make sure to check out these two videos while you wait. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you guys next time.